And by the way, my new construction, the one Gary went out and looked at, um, I've only been to that property personally, maybe five or six times, and it's because it's in St. George, and it's because I have a vacation house there and I'm down there all the time, so. But I'm not, I'm not out there every day picking out tile. Who do I have doing all that? A builder, my builder does all the work. My builder manages the whole project. What have I done in the whole process? I put it together, but I'm not the one out there swinging a hammer. I'm not painting anything. But I understand the model, I understand the numbers, I understand the market, I'm the high level. Up here when we talk about you right here, there are two roles in any business. Strategic and tactical, what's the difference? And tactical is what? Tactical is the day to day, the day to day, the grind, the day to day. There's day to day, right? All these different, we got all these boxes here, someone's gotta do that work. So the tactical is the day to day management of the business. What is the strategic? It's the vision. So you're up here. You're not in these boxes. At first, maybe. At first, when you first start the business, you're in every box. But if you start to build the business, if you chase after the vision of building the business that does deals, not a deal, see the difference? If you're after doing a deal, then you're entirely tactical. If you start right now with the intent of building a business that does deals, where do you focus your energy? Strategic, your role up here should be 90-10. It depends how quickly you grow your business. The intent is you're replacing yourself with what? How do you leverage yourself? How does any business leverage? Leverage meaning scale. What do they have? There's two things, people and what? Tools, te technology, processes, yeah, software. But you still have to have people, key people, because nothing's, nothing's completely automated. Even McDonald's isn't completely automated, almost. But you have, you have those two things, and you're leveraging those two things and the business can scale, meaning it grows while you stay up here and don't compromise lifestyle. In order to grow, what do you have to do though? And this is just any business. We're just applying it to real estate. Every day in my business, I ask myself, is what I'm doing the most valuable use of my time right now? I ask myself that a thousand times a day. And a lot of times it's go play with your kids and it's, you know, but ask yourself, if you're licking envelopes, if you're doing $10 an hour work, are you using your time wisely? Probably not. Okay, probably not. So if you have the vision, if you sit down right now and you say, Jerry, I'm committed to this business, I'm gonna build this business, I'm not gonna chase a deal, I'm gonna build a business that does deals, and I wanna do a million dollars a year, what would a million dollars a year do for your, your lifestyle or the things that you really wanna do? You guys didn't come in here, did, did anybody come in here with the vision of changing their life through Limitless that didn't have anything to do with real estate? What is it, what's your big dream you wanna do? Okay. You wanna work with autistic kids, that's your dream. It has nothing to do with building a real estate business. Let's face it, uh, who is it that builds the churches and the hospitals and who is it that helps? You know, when I went to Guatemala with my son for a week, and guess what? We were building houses for $2,500, builds a house for a family. Life changing, a house for a family for $2,500. But does it take money to do that? It takes money, there's no way around it, it just does. This could be your, your cash producing model, you know, the means to an end. Candace, this is your means to an end maybe, right? And that's probably why you're here, to develop some kind of means to an end, meaning the end is that you wanna work with, you wanna do an autis autistic things, right? So here was, the, here was the big mind shift for me, or the big change for me. I was running around like crazy in my home market in Detroit, Michigan, out there every day. If I wasn't out there, stuff wasn't getting done, right? I was very much the S. If I wasn't there, Things weren't happening, I wasn't making money. And I was were very unhappy in that model. And so my wife and I sat down and we, we had this dream since we got married to travel full time in an RV. To just travel the country, we were homeschooling, we wanted to take our kids and get a real world experience, not just read it in books. So we said, okay, let's set a date. Now I was very, I was very pessimistic about, I was very, um, I didn't think it would, I could do it. So I set a two year date. Not like, let's do this in six months, two years. And I worked tirelessly to get to a point where I could leave my market and still do deals. So I worked on it for two years to get to a point where we could leave. It just, just happened overnight, it was a process. This was me, I was most of these boxes. It was how do I build a system, there's gotta be a way to do it. I just had the question, is there a way, there's gotta be a way. And then I worked on it, and since then, I've continued to refine it and work on it, work on it, work on it. By the way, the year we traveled in our RV, I made more money than any year previously and I hardly worked. So did it work? Yeah. But what did it take? It took me getting the heck out of there. 
because now I had to do it without being there. So it just, for me, it took that leap of faith. And by the way, my personality, my style is to jump into the deep end of the pool and doggy paddle. Like I don't, you know, it's just like do it. Yeah, that's, some people don't do that. It's, it's for me, has anybody read the book, uh, Ready, Fire, Aim? Yeah. Instead of Ready, Aim, Fire? I just find that if I just dive in, I'll learn so much more making mistakes than I would if I try to do it without making any mistakes. I think that's the fastest way to learn. At the end of the day, it's mindset. My, the, I read a book that was life-changing for me called The Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eckler. That book changed, that book rocked my world because I realized I had some negative mindsets around money and wealth. And I had to work very hard to change those mindsets. My biggest mindset was you have to work very hard for money. Does anybody have that mindset? That's what my dad taught me. I grew up on a farm in rural Michigan. I was taught you work hard and you get ahead in life. But here's the thing, is there any correlation between working hard and money? There's no correlation. Are there people that don't work very hard and make a lot of money? There's no correlation. That's you decide that. Not, there's, there's no rule that says you have to work hard to make money, okay? I've worked very, very little. I've hardly worked at all on the deal that I went out with Gary with that's gonna make $250,000. Your mindset, because obviously that was a very broken mindset that you couldn't have succeeded with. So what did you do? I did affirmations. I put, so he's got his 21 wealth files in this book. I pasted those on my mirror and I read them every day and I pounded them in until they were now my, my beliefs. But it, it, it didn't, it was hard and they still creep in a little bit. So what do you have to do? What does Limitless teach, teach you? You constantly are doing self-improvement. It's like Zig Ziglar says, um, it's like taking a bath. You don't take a bath once, right? You do it every day, <laughs> right? So I continually work on my self-improvement. I consider my, I, I consider that the most important thing I can do is my personal development to build this business. So I'm at a point now where improving this, improving this system is my number one focus. It's not to do a deal. In fact, I'll go into a new market and I'm fine to not make any money there to, to build a system first. Because I know once the system's built, it's gonna happen. Meaning I find my team, I find my people, I build my, I build my departments, and then we turn the juice on.